Next up on our tour to chargers is one of the new DC fast charging units that's offered by 7-Eleven. I am at a 7-Eleven in South Fort Worth off of the Chisholm Trail Parkway where they have these brand new seven charge stations. Uh, there are two stations here with four plugs, three CCS and one Chatamo. Um, and they uh, are new, brand new fast chargers. To get into them, you have to uh, go into, well, you can just swipe your card and go, or you can activate off of a seven charge app. The, this, this is kind of tight, it took me two hands to, to plug it in and all of that. When I plugged in, the OBD dongle was showing me that we were at 77 uh, degrees of battery temperature. We were at 33% state of charge. Uh, plugged in for 10 minutes got uh, up to a 50% state of charge, got 8.713 kilowatts delivered, uh, pulled out, did some math, and found out that the $4.79 that it cost me for this charge got me the same amount of miles that gasoline at the price over here of 309 would have gotten us in the Subaru and the Subaru would have cost us a dollar less. So this is the first charger that I have ever encountered that it costs more to charge the car with electricity than it does to put gasoline in it. But it was a pretty easy charge to do. I had to download the 7-Eleven app. I had to log in. I had to input credit card information, etc. And throughout the 10 minutes, we were able to maintain peak charge speeds uh, right around 51 kilowatts, uh, which is about as much as the Bolt can handle. We can take up to as much as 53 or 54 we saw on our road trip. Uh, no other cars pulled in. There are four parking spaces here that are available that say electric vehicle charging only. There are two units. This one here has the CCS and the Chatamo plug. Everything displays on this very small screen. And this one is set up with two CCS, one is a handicap spot, which is why I didn't park there. One of the things I noticed when I plugged in was that it showed that that Chatamo plug, plug two on this unit, was available. So that leads me to believe, and I don't know, I need to see this in, uh, in practice to see if it proves true, is that a Nissan Leaf could plug it, pull in right here next to me, go to the same unit, take out plug two, plug their Chatamo in, and charge while I was charging off of this one. The screen says 180 kilowatts, but it says on plug share and on, an, on the 7 old charge app of 90 kilowatts. So these chargers at the 7-Eleven are called 7Charge. That's the app that goes with it. Would this charger, uh, would I use this charger again? I would do it in a pinch um, if I absolutely had to. We, were, we came back from a trip up to Denton uh, last week and we didn't need to charge. We, I was wondering if I was gonna need to, but we didn't and this stop was here as a, if we absolutely have to, to get the last little bit home because we're only about, I'm only about 10, 15 miles from home here. So um, do I wanna pay 55 cents per kilowatt hour at this charger? or do I want to pay eight and a half at home? I'd rather pay eight and a half at home and let the, uh, let the car charge while I'm sleeping. Just to sum up my experience at this seven charge station, I got here, read the little thing down here that says what I need to do, download the seven charge app and uh, put all that stuff in. I downloaded the app, created an, a, a, an account for me to be able to sign in. It didn't ask for the car, uh, for my credit card information until I asked it to charge. And then I had to type the credit card in information in on my phone. I could have used the card reader there. Um, but if, you know, if I didn't have my phone, that's what I could have done. And uh, plugged in, it started charging right away, delivered the power, it did what it was supposed to do. Uh, it was a good charging experience. It's just on the pricey side. Um, again, it's at 55 cents per kilowatt hour. And when I was at uh, Electrify America, I was paying 34 cents a kilowatt hour and I was complaining about how much that was. Um, and that really would have been about 40 something cents a kilowatt hour on the non-member rate at uh, Electrify America. I think it's like 43 cents a kilowatt hour is the non-member rate. But in the state of Texas, Electrify America charges by the minute, so it's even cheaper than their kilowatt hour rate, uh, for a bolt anyway. 
which would be, it's going to be considerably cheaper here. I'm going to see if I can get the same amount of power at an Electrify America station when I, che when I check there. And stay tuned for that video. That's coming up as the next one in the series. Thanks for watching.